In this lesson for Photoshop Elements, I'll show you how to create a wedding photo like this one, where the bride and groom are placed in the foreground against a black and white faded backdrop of a favorite location, and there's room for text on the photo. To begin, open up a photo that you want to use as a backdrop. Then in the Layers panel, double-click on the Layer thumbnail to unlock that layer. When the New Layer dialog appears, click OK. From the Enhance menu, select Convert to Black and White. Then choose a style that will fit with your image. I'm choosing Vivid Landscapes. Click OK. Let's add a new layer below the current layer. On a PC, press Control. Then in the Layers panel, click Create a New Layer, and a new layer appears below the current layer. On the Mac, that keyboard command is Command plus Create a New Layer. Let's fill that new layer with white. To do that, I can fill the new layer with the background color by pressing Control and Backspace on the PC, or Command and Backspace on the Mac. Select the city layer again and drop the opacity of that layer to 50%. Now it's time to add our bride and groom. From the file menu, choose place. Select a photo that you want to use and click place. The new photo is now placed in a new layer on top of the black and white city layer. Because we use the place command, the photo has been imported into Photoshop Elements as a smart object. And smart objects are really useful because you can resize up and down without losing any picture quality while they remain a smart object. Let's resize this so that our bride and groom fit the space. Press Shift and then click and drag one of the corners of the bounding box on that layer. Let's resize them down just a little bit and then move that layer over to the left. When you're finished with your resizing, press Enter or check the green check mark to commit that operation. Let's now choose the Quick Selection tool on the toolbox and then quickly let's make a selection of the bride and groom. We carefully make a selection at first, but if you make any mistakes, we can correct them later in the layer mask. From the Select menu now, or from the Option bar, click Refine Edge. And let's refine the edges of the selection a little bit to smooth it by one pixel, feather it by one pixel, and let's contract it rather than expand it by about 2%. You can type in minus 2 to contract it by 2% and then click OK. Now that our bride and groom are selected, we're going to add a layer mask to this layer that contains the photo to show just the bride and groom. In the Layers panel, click the Add a Layer Mask icon and notice how nicely our bride and groom now appear against the backdrop. I don't like them at this side of the photo, so select the Move tool and drag them to the opposite side of the photo. And if you want, press Shift and resize them a little bit so that they fit better. And then press Enter or select the green check mark to commit that operation. If you make mistakes when you've selected the bride and groom, you can fix them on the layer mask. To do that, let's zoom in on the bride and her hair, and we're going to make a few corrections to her hair here to get rid of these pixels that we selected that we don't want. In the Layers panel, click on the Layer Mask thumbnail, and if you paint with black, you can hide the pixels that you don't want. Choose black as your foreground color. Choose the brush tool. 
Set the opacity to about 35% and then use a soft round brush and just lightly paint over the area of the hair that you want to make transparent. And as you see we're doing that, we're losing some of those cream colored pixels that we brought over with the hair. Now that we're zoomed in, we can look more closely at the bride and groom to see if there are any other areas that we would like to touch up. And it looks like we got a very nice selection our first time, so there aren't any more. But remember, if you need to touch up your selection, you can paint with black on the layer masks to hide pixels you don't want, and you can paint with white to bring back the pixels that you want to see from that layer. So let's look at that full size again. And our bride and groom are sitting nicely on top of our background image. Let's add some text to our photo now. On the toolbox, select the horizontal type tool. Then in the options bar, select your font family, font style, and font size. Click the arrow next to the color box to open the color menu and choose another color if you want. I'm choosing a salmon color. Now with the type tool selected, click in the image and start typing. Select the move tool and then resize and move the text to expand it to the size that you want. Press enter or check the green check mark to commit your changes. From the effects panel, let's choose layer styles and then choose drop shadows from the drop down list and choose a low drop shadow and apply. We have now added text to our image of the bride and groom on the San Francisco backdrop. This can come in very handy if you have many different wedding couples that you are using. You can just create a template that includes the text layer, the background layer, and you can then edit the text and add the different bride and groom as needed. Have fun with your wedding images.